And yes, we are live. Hello. It's a Friday night, that's the time. Uh, you may notice that the... Um, oh, you won't notice, because... <laughs> Let me just make a, a slight adjustment before I show you. But... Um, there we go, that'll do. It shows you half of it. The big mixer is back. Hooray! Um, I've had it up in my main workshop under repair, and I'll show you what repair we did in a future episode. Uh, this is my pride and joy, and I thought I was going to throw it away. I, it was making all sorts of weird noises. Um, but it was rescued rather quickly and very cheaply, I'm pleased to say. So I'll do a video on that shortly. This is the one that we do all the radio broadcasts on. I can use this for this broadcast, but um, the only thing this will achieve is a slightly better microphone quality. I can show you if I um, if I fade that one up. So we'll just close down the other mic. And then I'll fade this one up and you can tell that this is a... Um, uh, it really does help if you get the right one, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you think I know by now, but I don't. So, uh, yeah, this gives a much better quality because it's a studio quality microphone. But um, for me to use this, I'd have to put it on the fixed mic stand. And every time I want to speak, I'd have to go to the microphone rather than the other one, which follows me around because it's attached to me face. So um, anyway, that's enough of this. Let's fade this one out. Put the other one back in. So um, I'm just going to. I'm just going to... I've probably given the game away already, but have a look at this. Look at that on my brand new carpet. When I say carpet, I don't mean floor carpet. This is the carpet that's on the bench. Nice, soft shag pile that I've ruined. How did I ruin it? I ruined it with this bloody thing. It's a new Chinese hot plate. I've got an American one, um, which uh, I, I normally keep up at the other unit, but I do bring it down here occasionally. But I thought I'd order a cheap one from China. And my goodness, talk about getting hot. I mean really hot. I can use this in the winter as a radiator. I put it on for a minute and I could smell burning. I mean, even though it's got its leg supports, I thought that would st stop any problems. But no. I mean, even this plank of wood. Hello, plank of wood. Even this plank of wood is going to burn. It's so hot. It's dangerously hot. So uh, it's not necessarily that I'm going to recommend you getting one. Anyway, today we're looking at this. Well, we're going to use this. I am going to plug this in because I've got this TV here, which you can see has a red standby light. So I'll teen, I'll, I'll teen the TV on and we're getting no picture. So the backlights have gone on this. I think we've done a couple of these in the past. I'll just switch it back to standby. And now back on again. You may see a faint Samsung logo. I'll tell you when it comes on because I know where to look there faint Samsung logo um, so we're going to, we're going to repair this using this um, because I've got a Samsung strip we can take some um, leads off it, it's not worth doing a proper repair and I'll explain why in a minute so you can now see we're down to the backlights and I'm hoping because all I've got to repair it is this which you can see is not big enough. It's not even the right one. But I'm going to be taking some of the bulbs off these and sticking them in the faulty one. So I hope we haven't got more than... Well, I'm hoping we haven't got more than two faulty. So let me get my LED tester out. Switch my LED tester on, which it now is. I'm going to disconnect the backlights from the power board, which you can possibly see on one of the cameras. No, you can't. Bloody useless. Uh, 
Now you can disconnect it there. So the power board that feeds the DC to the um, backlights. And now I will be feeding my own DC to the backlights. Uh, for this I'm going to turn some lighting off and we'll see. Let's start on the bottom set. Positive is on the right hand side, ground is on the left hand side. And we can see all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine working. That is good. And here we can see all nine are working. That is good. It's good because it's limiting the amount that I have to replace. Here we can see nothing. Nothing is lighting up on the middle strip. Come back to that. All lighting up on that one. And hopefully, yay! All lighting up on this one. Now, unless this metal one has had a catastrophe of a short and has blown them all, hopefully it's just one that's gone. So let me go through them one by one. There's no test points on these. Hmm. So the first one is not lighting. Let me see if I can get the second one to light. Well, we can get the third one to light. Let's see if we can get second and third to light. No, at the moment it's looking like... It's looking like the first two. And it is. Maybe even the first three? No, it can't be the first three. Right. Let me just check that second one again. It's looking like the first two on that strip. Because no matter what I do, they don't want to come on. Right. Let's take that middle strip out. Now to do this, to take the middle strip out, I have to get my exacto knife out and cut myself and just just they've got some oh wrong one this one i've got some very tough samsung tape slide this one out now there we go Take the TV chassis out the way. Out the way. So once again, if I test it from there to there, they light up. If I test it from there to there, if I test it from there to here, we get nothing. So, it definitely is the first two. Now, I can see already that there is a bit of a brown stain behind that one. Don't know if you can see. That one's looking quite clean. But that one. So, first of all, I'm just going to pry the lenses off. I'm not going to break them because we need it. Oh, now you can really see that that one's blown. Look. But that one still looks okay. And because I'm a perfectionist... <laughs> I'm going to just double check to make sure I'm not making any mistakes. Ah, now look at that. That didn't happen a second ago, did it? Can you see? That did not happen a second ago. Number one was not lighting up. I obviously hadn't made a connection right. But we know number two is burnt. So, we only need one spare one. So what I'm going to do is plug in this 
heater from hell and let it get hot. Click. That is now. In fact, it's going to be getting so hot, I'm worried about the camera up above it. If we lose the picture, <laughs> you'll know why. So, just let me rest this LED on it. Sorry, I forgot to start recording. Hot plate is on. I've taken one of the LEDs off, which you didn't see, but here it is. That's the LED that was on there. Only had to be on for a few minutes. This is the faulty one. That's the bad mofo. And we're taking it from a, a reasonably good strip. It's not a brand new strip, but it's a strip from a Samsung TV from a different make. But even though the strip is not correct for the TV, the individual LEDs are, they are three volt, one watt. One watt, one watt. So I can now take this off, hopefully. Yes and put it on there. And I'm just going to have to put my glasses on to line it up and then test it. In fact, I would say these are exactly Right, I'm going to switch this off now and take it away. Hopefully I didn't move that too quickly and we're too jerky with it. Let's test it, see if we get all of them lighting up. Oh, I thought we did for a second. We did. Look, they're all working. I don't know if you can see, because I've got the main lights on. Let's turn all the lights off. Let's have a light show. There we go. So. Just turn the lights back on and my LED tester off. All I need to do now is glue that lens back on. And I'll test it in the TV. There is a way you can test these things very quickly. Which one should we use? Should we use that one? Oh, we need two, don't we? I took two off. Just have a look at the um, brown marks behind. Not That's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Just going to get some Scooby glue. Please tell me I have some Scooby glue here. I do. Little dot on there. Little dot on there. Little dot on there. Little dot on there. You have to put these on precisely, otherwise you do get shadows on the screen. Right, we're going to slot this one back in. It's had a little time to dry, but not as much as it should have. I've got the TV the wrong way around, haven't I? Two things I need to point out before you start moaning. Ah, probably too late. The thumbs down have probably begun. This is not the way we repair a TV if... Or you should have your TV repaired if it's got backlight issues. This is not a customer set. This is my own set. I am not selling it on. I'm going to be using it uh, for a loan set to customers who will need a TV while we repair these for a couple of days. 
So stop sending me messages saying you should always replace them with a full set. I know. Check my videos. When it comes to customers, we do. And the other thing, of course, I haven't shown the dismantling process because we've done this TV. We've replaced LEDs in this model TV on my channel so many times. The dismantling process will be on there. You'll have to go searching for it. Don't want to keep repeating things. I don't mind repairing the same TV with a slightly different fault or a slightly different way of repairing the fault. But um, I'm not going to go over everything time after time. So we've repaired two or three of these backlights on the channel anyway. So I'm just testing. that they've dried and they have not completely dry but enough for me to show you something now do you remember not so long ago I disconnected the backlights well of course now we've got to reconnect them which is just as easy as taking them out just put it back in but on all Samsung LED TVs if you separate the wire that connects the main board, the main board from the power board, and just like just like that. That now, when I plug into here, the only thing it can power is the backlights, and it will do it. Power them straight away. It won't bring up any of the other circuitry, just the backlights. So I've plugged it in. I haven't switched it on yet. Not too sure which camera angle is the best. That camera is always a bit tilted. A bit like myself. Anyway, now I can switch them on. Well, plug them in and switch them on because I'm doubly safe here. There you go. And the back lights are back on and repaired. So I'm just the only thing I the only other thing I want to test is with the one that I swapped over, which is that one there. I want to test to make sure it's not going to give me any shadows, so I'm going to just do a part put back together. It's not that way, it's going to be that way, is it? Yes, it is. There's a chance when I touch the lens in a second, it's going to come a bit loose. I've just got to get the reflector sheet behind the lens. That's the one. I did see it wobble, but we're okay. It's behind it. I'm going to put the screen supports in. And I'm just going to put The sheet's back on. And then switch it back on again. This will let me know. You probably won't notice it. You may get some jazzy lines on screen when this happens. But this will just let me know if that those two I've glued on. If I haven't glued them on absolutely precise. There'll be a shadow, and there is, look, there's a shadow, or I don't know if you can see that. You possibly can't. Oh, you can, yeah. Can you see just a faint shadow there? That's because I didn't get... Oh, it's not because I didn't get it on. It's, it's slightly come off, so give me a second. Uh... 
That may be better. That's perfect. No, I can still see a shadow on this one now. Oh yes, because I've just moved it. This glue does take it. It's, it's new glue that I've bought. I don't know why I bought a different, well, it's the same brand, but it's different glue. And it takes up to 24 hours to set, which is no good for this job. Anyway, shadows have gone. I can now switch off. And I'm going to put the TV back together and then we'll plug it in to something. I don't know what I'm going to plug it into because someone's got my Blu-ray player. Hard to believe that I haven't got anything in here to test it on. The aerial that's on the roof is now not picking up any channels because of where I am. Um, I've loaned the Blu-ray player out to some... Full of excuses. Excuses. But it's true. But we'll know if it's working because we'll, we'll see the menu. And we didn't see the menu before, did we, eh? Did we? Did we? No. Well, very faintly if you were paying attention, but I bet you weren't. Um... The only thing I have done, which probably I shouldn't have done, is I've turned the TV upside down probably too early. Remember I glued those in? I should have waited an hour. But I couldn't because it's late on a Friday night. And I want a cup of tea. So I'm turning it up the proper way. Let's get... That'll do. Let me turn it on. See if the menu works anyway. So I switched it on, and we're still in standby. Where are we? Yeah, we're in standby. Let's let's get the standby off. And what do we see? Yes, yes. Um, this is a full HD TV. So if I did have the aerial connected, we could have HD picture. The only thing I can do is go to Samsung's rather beautiful. Let's just see where the backlights were on the customer that had these last. Not bad. Standard 12. Didn't have them full up at 20. That's good. Um, go to support. Self-diagnosis. Picture test. Yes. beautiful picture and no shadows you can see some you can see some probably some rings oh no you can see lines going up and down that's just a refresh rate with the camera um it may change if i brighten things up a bit nope might get worse anyway so that's a nice tv now that i can use in the background or i can um, loan to someone while we're repairing their TV. I have several loan sets. If somebody brings a Samsung 32 inch, it's nice to loan them a Samsung 32 inch and then they get to keep their remote control. If it's a Toshiba 55 inch, we do the same, etc. etc. But so, do I recommend that hot plate? No, I don't. It's just ridiculously hot. It's I, you saw the damage it made to my carpet, but it does the job so. But I don't recommend it because I did burn myself on it on the first day. And if I recommend it and you burn yourself on it, I'll feel really bad. Um, you thought the backlights had gone off then, didn't you? Hey, <laughs> so did I. Thanks for watching. See you next time.